Now that we are logged into Docker Hub, we can take advantage of a really nifty action that Docker has built that will both build and push our container image to Docker Hub for us. After that, we can pull and verify the container image locally. We've already logged into Docker Hub. We have a successful login, so we've already handled the most difficult part of this. We could just go ahead and use the Docker build push action. And you can use this immediately after the login action. And essentially, you just indicate that push is true. You set up your tags. And then you set up your context and you're ready to go. So I will go ahead and copy the uses um, Docker build push action in the correct version, which here would be V2. And we're going to go right into our YAML file. We will give it a name. So build and push to Docker Hub. We will put a uses keyword, docker build push action v2 uh, with, and this will where we set up all of our parameters. So context will be the current directory. Since we've already checked our code, that will have our application, just like when we built locally. Push is true. And tags is where we get to have a lot of fun. So I want to set it up to have the same type of tags I would for an image here. So it'll be msft us dev slash the name of the image. So let's say I want to do msft us dev slash next web app colon latest and then msft us dev slash next web app colon. And then this one, I might want to do some string concatenation and add in the GitHub run number. So I end up having two tags. Whenever we push, we'll always add the latest tag and then we'll always add the GitHub run number. So this gives us both on um, versioning and every push updates the latest. So this is pretty good. This is about what I'm looking for. I'll save and um, push to Docker Hub is what the name of this a uh, commit will be called, checking for typos, commit locally, push to my remote GitHub repository, switch back to my browser, check GitHub actions, and we will, we're off to the races. So we're looking for a build agent with Ubuntu latest as the label. We are waiting for an agent to pick up this build. There we go, checking out our code, logging in Docker Hub, build and push to Docker Hub. So far, so good. Like it's doing its build. It's got a lot going on here. You see next builds going on internally, just like if you were building on a local machine, generating static pages. That's what we want to happen. That was based upon the instructions within the Docker file, which is the same thing will happen if you're building with the Docker file on your local machine. So this is uh, this is all good news for us. Um, we're observing the build. All right, it's pushing layers of this container image. Now, obviously, there's lots of optimizations that can happen here, but this is just a demo. So right now, I'm not really looking to optimize it. Just looking to prove this uh, proof of concept out. And there we go. So let's go check on Docker Hub. Going to refresh. There's our next web app container image. We have our latest tag. If we hit see all, see this was pushed a few seconds ago. And so we should just be able to go in and use something like uh, the Windows terminal. Let's see if we can pull this container image. So Docker pull msft us dev next web app latest from docker hub i don't know if the index is updated that fast there we go it is i should be able to just pop on uh, run this locally so docker run detach publish port 5000 map to 80 well let me make sure i don't already have something running on that port i do that would have been unfortunate or remove what's running on that port bar port already. MSFT US dev next web app tag latest. All right, we'll start a container instance on that port. And then if we go to localhost port 5000, we have our automatically built container image 
running on that local port. So everything's working exactly as we expect it to.